Just take your hands off me, you damn dirty human. Sorry, it's just that I... I, I only just got here. I don't know where I am, and you're the only same person I've met here. And I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Thank me for what? You want to chew on my banana? Well, um, <laughs> why'd you put it like that? You better start making sense, you damn dirty human. Or I'm going to have to wipe the floor with you. <laughs> Not necessary. You see, I, I just wanted to repay your gratitude of, um... Your gratitude by uh, all I wanted was a sweet distraction for an hour or two. Had no intention to do the things we'd done. Funny how it always moves with you, would you find? But then we're two of a kind. We move as one. We're an old family. So much more. You're an asshole. I'm waiting, my dear. <laughs> Chimpanzee. I keep it inside you, oh, banana, my dear. Oh, oh, what's stopping you? Oh, 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 oh. Remember, son? Damn them. Damn them all to hell. <laughs> Father, I promise to do your bidding. Don't die, Father. Save me. Oh, what the hell? Oh, father. Father? No. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my review of Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes. <laughs> uh, so, after a long time, I plucked up the courage to review Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes. Uh, okay, right, um, so, after the original saga ended about, what, 30 years later? Tim Burton decided he wanted to do his own one for some reason. Uh, so, um, with that in mind, uh, let's get into the, the real thick of this film. So, the basic plot of Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes is that Mark Wahlberg plays this Air Force astronaut who's, um, <clears throat> taking care of this chimp and um something happens something fucks up and then Mark Wahlberg ends up flying flying off and um crash landing on the planet of the apes in other words and um he gets stranded there he, basically kind of like the first one they get captured they break out they have to escape but without any of the political stuff from the first one. And there's a bunch of other stuff happening, and it all 
goes on from there. Yeah. You know, I don't actually hate Tim Burton. He's a okay director. When he's good, he's good. When he's bad, he's bad. And in this case, it's bad. It will not surprise you to know that I absolutely despise Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes. This film is an absolute mess. And just... Well fucking done. Ugh. I mean, I don't even know where to begin with this one. First of all, the plot is so bad that I can't even make out what most of it is. You know, it's it's kind of obviously similar to the first one in the sense it's kind of a remake slash reboot slash, slash reimagining. <clears throat> but the story is incomprehensibly told, but that's not the worst of it. Tim Burton's direction is appalling. Absolutely appalling. Like, literally, he doesn't understand. Well, he's let this fall apart. I mean, completely. I mean, the actors lose themselves in the madness of being monkeys. And, you know, it, it just... Uh, uh, every time you watch the actors trying to act like apes or monkeys, it's just weird because every time it's, all, it's far too, you know, jumpy and they're far too animated, you know. I like that fact about the original film, that it was very... The apes were very contained with themselves. They were a very civilized race. Th these these apes aren't civilized. They're just fucking monkeys. They basically are monkeys. They're jumping around going <laughs> for two hours. You don't care about them. You actually kind of hate them, really, because of the way they treat the humans. And you just just fucking hell. I mean, it's out of control. It is completely out of control. Oh, but let's get to the human cast first. Mark Wahlberg um, plays Leo Davison, who's this, like, astronaut. Um, granted, Mark Wahlberg, he's okay, but he can't save the movie. He just He's just dull. Like, he's just very dull. Like, I like Mark Wahlberg in other films, but not in here. I don't think he gives the worst performance of the cast, but I just don't think that he actually does anything remotely interesting with his part. And, to be honest... The way his character arc works out, there's nothing. Like, by the end, his character is the same. He doesn't go on this emotional journey. He doesn't. His character is the same from beginning to the end. Obviously, he discovers things. He realises, oh, okay, the apes are, have taken over and whatnot. And that ending is fucking weird. I mean, I'll talk more about the ending in a bit. Um, the other human casts whose names escape me... I mean, obviously, there's that female attractive lead, you know, they have to have her in there, don't they? Just so Mark Wahlberg can get a bit of, you know... Ugh. It's disgraceful. And then, you know, the little love triangle comes out of nowhere. Just so forced. You thought the one in Conquest was forced, but no, this one's even worse. Ugh. But, I mean, the human cast, they're, they're not the worst of it. The, the cast who play the apes... Helena Bonham Carter probably gives her worst performance ever. And this is the film where her and Tim Burton actually, you know, they met and they fell in love and they got married. You can tell that Tim Burton didn't have any problems directing her because he fancied the pants off her and he just let her do whatever. She always whispers. It's so annoying. You're supposed to care about her because she's... They try and make her out as like the Zira of um, the, the remake. Reboot, sorry. Um, because she cares about the humans. But her character's just so weird, like... And she talks too fast and too softly that you can't even understand a word she says. So I'm sorry, Eleanor. But, you know, your performance here sucked. Luckily, she kind of redeems herself with later films. Um, she is... She's just terrible. I mean, aside the makeup on her, which looks quite good, but that's not really her doing... Um, her acting is just awful, and, you know, she's very touchy-feely with Mark Wahlberg. Um, you've got other people, um, such as, like, all the, the, the senators and stuff. I can't remember all the names of the cast, but undoubtedly the worst member of the cast is Tim Roth. Tim, Tim, Timmy, Tim, Tim. Oh, gosh. Um, Tim Roth... What the fuck? Like, 
he he's sure as hell gone overact. Oh god, he's every time Tim Roth was on screen, I cringed. He does the rape face, like, and he speaks like this. I want to destroy the apes. Like he always like he just he just completely overdoes it. Like, what the fuck? There is literally every everything oozes that oozes from his mouth is shit. You could say quite literally that every line of dialogue he has oozes shit. And you're supposed to care about the relationship between him and his father. His father, who played by Charlton Heston, actually. That's the best thing about this film, is the Charlton Heston cameo. Um, you know, that was nice. But the rest of it, no. No. I don't care about their relationship. I just didn't care about Tim Roth as a character. His character's motivations was just bullshit. He basically was the new General Aldo. He was the new version of General Aldo. Because all he did was want to destroy, destroy, destroy. He, did, he wouldn't listen to reason. and <coughs> There's like, there's no conflict. There's no conflict that even is interesting. The dinner scene is boring. The fucking sex scene. My goodness. Ugh. Oh, just... No. God. But you know the worst thing about this film? Is that it looks fucking cheap. I mean, I thought Battle for the Planet of the Apes looked cheap. Well, I suppose it does look a bit, bit better than Battle for the Planet of the Apes, but in terms of the production values, it is cheap. It, I mean, well, well, they spent so much money on the makeup. I mean, I don't know what the budget for this film was, but it probably wasn't very much. Um, what also shocks me is that it was nominated for two BAFTAs. How does that happen? How? Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, the production values look cheap. All the sets look terrible. I mean... Like, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Uh, sorry. The the sets just look awful. Like, it looks, you can tell it looks like they're shot inside and it looks all fake. If you're going to do it, um, Burton, try and make it look more realistic. <sighs> I can't fucking believe how bad this is. I mean, I mean, I thought the conquest and battle were pretty shit. But this is a new low. I mean, this completely shits on the original saga. At least you can say the original saga. I know not all of the sequels are very good. But at least they're watchable. This is an absolute slumber. You know, this is just... You know... <sighs> and it moves at a snail's pace. This movie drags... Like, fucking nobody's business. And that is a big problem. I was bored within the first 30 minutes. And I stayed bored until the end of the film. And they've got the end of the film. Oh. <laughs> the end of the film is so bad. I mean, what they've always tried to do with the Planet of the Apes film is have a powerful ending. And, uh, which, which the Watcher has pointed out, and I agree with him. Hello there, buddy. I feel your pain. Um, and... This one, again, this is a new low. I mean, just the way that... Ugh, cause surely Mark Wahlberg would have gone back to the present time to see that everything had been fixed. But no. But no. It leaves things unresolved. The statue scene at the end. Ape Raham Linking. Oh, God. It's just terrible. It's just fucking terrible. The writing is terrible. I mean, the script... Just fucking well done. I mean, you could have at least written a decent script. You know, there's the odd line here and there, which you can bear. But just the, the story and the dialogue is just so bad. I mean, it's cheesy, it's cringy, it's just... Too fast. You just don't really... This movie just kind of... Like, just the way the apes are in this film... It's just weird. It's just weird. It's a weird film. Um, but the dialogue is terrible because, crucially, what they've done in in an attempt to obviously homage the original, they have tried to retcon some of the old dialogue from the original. I love the dialogue from the original film. That's all well and good. But use it in an appropriate way, please. 
they just say lines out of nowhere and they completely shit on one of the lines when they say, Take your stinking bars off me, you damn dirty human! Michael Clark Duncan, um, he's probably under Chelton Heston, one of the only decent performers. Michael Clark Duncan's alright, I suppose, um, but Chelton Heston is the best performance of this film. And that's saying something, because he's a cameo. <laughs> God. All the stuff near the end as well, like, all the action scenes are pretty terrible as well. Like, the final battle is just bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, anything beats the school bus in the battle for the Planet of the Apes. But even so, this is just disgraceful. Like, you don't care who's fighting who. It's just, you don't feel that there's any kind of stakes to it. And it, it ultimately is completely redundant. The previous action scene went in the camp, uh... And that all burns. Do I actually care? Am I bothered? As Catherine Tate would say, am I bothered? No. It's just a mess. It's a total mess. It is quite easily the worst of the Planet of the Apes films. I mean, you know, <laughs> this battle for the Planet of the Apes doesn't... I mean, this, this film tries to take itself seriously, which is the biggest misstep. You know... I would have been better as a comedy. And that's saying something, you know. <coughs> I mean, what more... How how much more lower do you want to go? How much more do you want to shit on the original film? Do let me know, please. Lo and behold, if this film ever got a sequel, oh God. In the end, it's just awful. The CGI is crap as well at the beginning. I'll admit... The first 20 minutes are somewhat tolerable. It's boring, but it's tolerable. You can kind of tolerate Mark Wahlberg walking around in a spaceship with a chimp. That's okay. It's when they meet the apes. And then everything after that. Ugh. God, what the fuck is wrong with this film? Ugh. It's just literally one of the worst films ever. It is one of the worst films ever. And... I am so glad this didn't get a sequel. And Tim Burton should be ashamed of himself because he shit all over the Planet of the Apes films. We were lucky that the next two turned out to be great. I mean, after watching this film, <laughs> Rise is going to be a fucking mind melder. Oh, God. After watching this, I can't tell you how excited I am to see Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, God. Just, there's nothing more to say. There's nothing more to say. Well, I suppose the music by Danny Elfman, just crap. I mean, there's no, there's there's just, there's no tension. Like, it's, I mean, the, the opening titles are quite weird as well, like, with that title sequence. And then the music is just very, you know, I mean, it's got that tribal feel, I'll give it that, but. It's not like an awful score, but it's well, it's not like one of the worst scores ever, but it's just not good. It's just, it, there's not much of it, to be honest. Um, there's no coherency with this. There's nothing in the scenes that, you know, there's no drama. It's just a bore fest. It's a sluggish bore fest, and it's weird. It's a weird-ass film, and, you know, the prosthetics are great and all, they are good, they are good, I'm not going to knock the prosthetics, but why the fuck do they have beards? This might be a really minor thing to complain about, but why the hell does Tim Roth's character have a beard over his prosthetics? That's just fucking weird. I mean, Charlton Heston has it as well, but Charlton Heston's a cameo, so it, you can kind of, his character is meant to be older, so you can kind of get away with it. But Tim Roth's character is just... I just, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any sense. And it is easily the worst, most despicable, most disgusting movie in the Planet of the Apes saga. And for that reason, oh yeah, you guessed it. This one, warming up for this. This one is getting a well-deserved, a well-earned, you know, Trophy if it had it, a zero out of ten.
despite the fact that there's one cameo which is actually quite good, the rest of it is shit. So, if you haven't seen it, don't watch this film, please. Just don't. It's not even canon with the other films, it's just a separate film. So, just stick with the original saga and with the two reboot films, the two new films. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm very speechless about this. Well, I'm just very thankful that the next one turned out to be much better. So tune in next time when I review Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I mean, after watching this, <laughs> Rise is going to be like the best CPR ever. So, that's it, folks. Thank you all for watching my review. And as always, I'm Mr. Sardis11. See ya.